Hello YouTube, I know it's been a while, but I'm back, and uh, I gotta say, I'm sorry it's been so long, but uh, my dad died, and then my I ended up going on a vacation to recuperate and be with family, and while there I had a cousin who had a stroke, my second day there, and then I spent the rest of my three week vacation he was in the hospital. I was able to go there and they induced a coma trying to save his life, uh, but he didn't come out of it. So then, you know, I was gone for three weeks. Two days after I arrived, he had a stroke, and two days before I left, we buried him. So, but anyway, I've got some new Bibles and I'm going to be doing a review. This one is an offering from Thomas Nelson Publishers. This is the NKJV Comfort Print Reference Bible, center column, giant print, in black imitation leather. And I just wanted to show you guys, here's the price of it on ChristianBook.com. And, let's see here. here, here you can see the cover. Now, I threw the cover away like an idiot. It just came in a little slip cover, but as you can see there, it has the new Comfort Print font. And let me just read some features of it. Exclusive Nelson NKJV Comfort Print. Clear and readable 13.5 point type. Now that's deceiving because it says it's 13.5, but with this comfort print, they made it bolder so it's easier to read. And it's actually more like it's a size smaller, so it'd be closer to a 12.5 point font instead of a 13.5. It's got center column references, book introductions, easy to use concordance, one satin ribbon marker, gilded edges full color maps let's see here uh, let's see here. it is a sewn binding and I'm here at christianbook.com if I can get this to focus here you go there's some of the uh, information on it as you can see it does have a sewn spine and I tell you what for that price of just $18.99 I thought that was a steal but look at the price of this exact same one on Amazon $15.99 so that's just an awesome price now it did say it's black and I don't know if the camera is picking it up this looks more like it's an extremely dark brown and I'm using natural sunlight for this It's coming in through my window uh, the sun is on the other side of the building uh, but it wasn't until today I noticed it kinda looks brownish but it is actually a black and it is that imitation leather uh, feel and look feels about like cowhide to be honest and you can see the grain that's imprinted into it very nice here's the spine and I tell you what this new comfort print and I'll zoom in here so you can see the ISBN 978 Okay, so this new uh, comfort print font from Thomas Nelson, uh, it really is a joy to read, but you need to get it big enough, because if you get it in a standard size, it's going to read a good bit smaller. Now here's that single satin ribbon, which is a, or it's a double-sided satin ribbon, but they only give you one of them, and it's a rather narrow ribbon. I still have the crease in mine, which will come out over time. And I gotta say, if you're looking for a new Bible 
for a new believer, for someone who's just looking to, to start, this is an excellent choice. Um, it'll last years and years. It's got some really basic but really good high quality features. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. You open it up, you can see it is a paste down liner. But you can also see it is stitched. Um, there you go. You can see this is perimeter stitched, which is a rather nice feature to have. And I am trying to use my camcorder for this. And they do a very good job on this. It is, uh, before we open it, it is gold gilt. And the gold gilding is fairly decent on it. I enjoy it. It also has a headband. Let me see if I can get that in the light. Just a black headband. And you open it up. There's a nice little presentation page. And this liner, it's not like a, a cardstock liner. It, it's almost like a, well, it, it probably is a cardstock, but it's more like a coated cardstock. My hands are a little sweaty there, sorry about that. It leaves a little mark on the thing. Anyway, real basic, but nice presentation page. They're making it uh, more basic, less ornate, which I enjoy. Then you have your title page, Holy Bible. Another title page. Also showing the translation and publisher. And as you can see, that ghosting really is not too bad on this. Um, it's actually showing up just right on this camcorder. So the ghosting, that may look bad, but then again, look at it here. Here's an actual page, and you can see the actual amount of ghosting, which is minimal. Um, this is printed in China which I think at this point all Nelson Bibles are printed in China so I know a lot of people knock Chinese printings I don't have a problem with them um, all the Bibles I've had that are printed in China uh, have actually been fairly decent now here's the preface to the New King James and then you get right into the Old Testament and here we go right into the text finally I'm gonna have to hold that down with my foot okay so there you see the introduction and the book introduction is two paragraphs and it's it's not too much it's just giving you a little tiny bit of background but then look at this okay this has a very comfortable large font and this is supposed to be a 13.5 where they put I had a coin here here it is okay now this is supposed to be a 13.5 point uh, 13 and a half point font now I put a dime in the in that page so you can really see it okay this is definitely a large print I would not say this is a giant print uh, if, if you want to call this a giant print, this would be about the smallest of a giant print. Um, but you can see there is some ghosting. It is not that bad. I mean, it's comparable to other uh, top quality publishers. But Nelson is using this really great uh, paper, and it's a really good quality Corsal center column references something I think you know is really beneficial now this uh, this is also in a paragraph format so if you're looking at this you'll see you know chapter 1 verse 1 and then where's chapter uh, verse 2 okay then you have uh, verse 2 verse 3 verse 4 verse 5 verse 6, verse 7. So this is in a paragraph format, and I know a lot of people prefer uh, verse by verse, 
But one thing I'm learning is if you get a Bible that is in a paragraph format, it is much easier and much better for your common everyday reader. It's just a much better quality. Now, Nelson, as you can see the gutters here, Nelson left plenty of space on the gutters so you're not going to feel that the Bible is swallowing the text. Um, you don't get that feeling at all. And it's going to loosen up over time and spread apart even more. So that's an important feature to have. Uh, another thing I do like about this is if you look, uh, the top section of the center column cross-references is going to be for your left side of the text. Your bottom section is going to be for the right side. And it is keyed by verse, which uh, I do prefer that. Instead of having little tiny letters you got to search for, like you'll see in Cambridge Bibles um, and a few others. This has got, you know, it's keyed by the verse number, which is very, very nice. Um, the red, let me get into the red letter text, and here's your, here's a decent view of Psalms for you. Now let's get into some of that red letter. There's Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Malachi, no I'm kidding, it's Malachi. Okay, here's Luke. Okay, now, red letter text. Of course, you know, Holman Publishers has the best red letter text. And I will go to the mat on that. It is a dark crimson and very bold. Next to Holman, I think Nelson really nails the color for a red letter text. This is like blood red. Um, it's not light red. It's not a bright red. It's just red, which is very nice to have. Once again, you can see the ghosting even in that center column is not that bad at all. Um, it, it's got a really, really nice quality. This is a very easy to read Bible, no problems with it. And another thing I've noticed about this, it is line matched. So even though the ghosting is a minimum, that line matching adds a whole new level of clarity to it. So I mean that is just excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the introduction to John and I'll show you that so okay there's your introduction to the gospel of John you can pause it there and read it and that's a decent little introduction it's not biased it's just bare minimum you know there but it's something that will probably help someone understand what they're reading so nice little feature I, I really love this it also has the uh, it also has subheadings which I really enjoy honestly I prefer a Bible that has subheadings uh, I, I don't like it if it doesn't have the subheadings and I know like the uh, the turquoise will just have like a little thing on the inside near the gutter I don't like that I like actually having the little subheadings right in the text or at the very beginning of a chapter so I can really see all the different topics or what's going on being you know covered let's go ahead and flip towards the back and this paper uh, not only is it very opaque but it is an off-white color uh, I wouldn't say it's a cream color but it it is off-white so that'll help if you want to sit down to read for longer periods of time this is just excellent 
and honestly if you are looking for a Bible that would be a great candidate for a rebind you know 16 bucks on Amazon I, I really think this is just an excellent excellent Bible I would love to have this Bible rebound just because of the, the features and everything that's in it it really is my ideal Bible this is something I could read I like the new King James um, the, the layout the setup of this I mean this is one of the cheapest Bibles you can get especially for a giant print well large print and the thought that they put into this you know they, they didn't leave the gutters too short or too long uh, I don't really write too much in my Bibles uh, anymore now I just use post-it notes um, but the, the margins are almost you know three quarters to one inch wide and that is just a nice little it, it's perfect for what I'd use it for now you get past Revelation here's the concordance and uh, let's see here the Concordance ends on page 1813, as you can see there, and it begins, and it's a three-column concordance, and it begins on page 1763. So, not a huge concordance, but definitely a, a decent enough size. Then in the back uh, you have a little bit about the font, little information. And let's see if I can zoom that in. I'm trying new stuff. So there we go. And that's just a little bit of information about the uh, the comfort print font. And there you, you see this is still new haven't used it a whole lot but I do enjoy it okay so if you want to pause it and read about the typeface then there you have a real excellent little bit of information <sighs> moving on to the maps this is the only thing I don't like because they use of course the glossy cardstock I do not like glossy cardstock. I, if you're going to put maps in a Bible, I think it should be done on just matte cardstock paper. You don't really need the, the glossiness. Um, I, I really don't like the glossiness. It ends up picking up colors and, and stuff. and It's just, yeah, it never ends up good for me. I prefer a nice matte cardstock, matte finish. And then once you get to the last map, you just have your your end sheet. Let me see a little fleck of gold on here. Anyway, you just get to that end sheet. They, they don't waste any real space with that. And then you're at the very back. So, what is this Bible's strengths? I would say the strength of this Bible is number one. It's formatting the way it's presented uh, it's in an excellent presentation and I, I really think uh, they, that Nelson hit a home run with this I really do this is really the perfect size it's just you know it is opaque enough to be comfort comfortable to read the font of that comfort print font it is absolutely gorgeous I love this font the only problem I have with the font is it is small but 
you know, if you get a larger print. And it's like I tell everyone, uh, if you're going to get a Nelson Bible, if it's got the comfort print, or if you're not sure if, if it has the comfort print, check it out. Try to find out. If it does have the comfort print, whatever it says the text size is, figure it a full point smaller. So if it says a 9, it's going to read like an 8 point font. Uh, it does read a size smaller for some reason, don't know why, but it's an excellent, excellent font to read as long as you get it large enough. Um, this is just beautiful. The quality on this, like I said, it has a Smythe-Sone binding. The gold is just, you know, it's, it's, it's a basic gold gilding, but it, it looks very nice. I think they did a good job on it. It's, anyway, back to the strengths. The strengths on this, that format that it's in, absolutely accident. Uh, excellent, not accident. I'm creating words now. Sorry, I'm very tired. The, the format they've designed for this is just a, absolutely excellent. The execution that Nelson did with this, absolutely excellent. I mean, this is just the perfect Bible. If you want to give a Bible to someone and it's nice, or if you just want a nice Bible, the, I can't recommend this enough. It even has Holy Bible stamped on the front, and it's in a, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's not a big, huge font. It's just kind of there. And it's lower, like usually they'll put it up here. This is just above the middle, though. So that's different. I wish they'd have went with a bolder stamping. But, you know, it, it doesn't bother me. But look at the size of this. This is pretty much a hand-sized Bible, at least for me. Um, most people would probably consider this to be more of a middle-sized. But there you can see it in my hand. It, I mean, look at that. It's, it needs broken in, but it's got a decent amount of flop to it. I, I mean, the only thing, like Nelson has their new Premier editions out. This would be an excellent Bible for them to release in their Premier Collection. The only complaint I have about this Bible, and this is me personally, is this ribbon. They should have went with a wider ribbon, but they didn't. Um, is that a deal breaker? No. You can either cut the ribbon off, replace it, or just you know use it it's not horrible it's just for my liking it's too narrow but then again I've been spoiled on, on ribbons for a while now and you'll be seeing that in some of these other videos I'm posting um, so anyway yeah not much else to say hope you'd enjoyed the uh, the review questions comments please drop them in the bottom and also I will throw in in the description, I will be adding the links for ChristianBook.com and also for Amazon to this exact Bible. Um, and let me see, because I know Holman will take a Bible and they put the ISBNs of every edition of that particular Bible in their... Uh... Nope, they didn't do that with this one. Nope. Well, that's okay. Uh, you can find other editions of this at ChristianBook.com. I think this also comes in burgundy. So, if not, you know, classic black. Can't go wrong with it. Till next time, guys. This is Chad. Hope you've enjoyed. Drop me a message below something, whatever. Uh, God bless you, and I'll see you later.